so another thing that's on this car that needs to be replaced is the window up blades so we got two of these in really good quality it's Bosch so we're gonna just lift this arm up lift the window on here the easy bracket then you're just gonna lift the window down slide it down twist it up and it comes right off so let's grab our tiny window wiper I don't know how this thing opens um, anyways we'll come back to this okay so basically we're just gonna open it here at the back um, just gonna peel this there's literally a line there oh oh my bad guys <laughs> my bad my bad so we got our new wiper blade and then I think that's the clips I don't know never seen this before um, we, we're gonna check it out okay let's just see if it doesn't just slide right on here so basically guys i have my assistant that's taking over now he seems to be more qualified in wiper blades than what i am uh okay. he doesn't want to show his face on the channel he wants to remain anonymous but um just some information he owned the previous rachel the mark one that was his car till he decided to sell it but it's fine um yeah so he's gonna be taking the window blade off now pull down apparently you pull down and then just flip it like that flip it like that and then straight up yeah and okay then, then it comes it straight out you can break it if you want to there's no use for it okay he's gonna install the new one there for us just so we can see how it's done um so it goes over that section make sure you go through there okay, okay so it goes, goes over that section and then, flip it, come through. and then the hook goes into that section okay pretty simple well this is a good video for you guys out there you know rainy season coming up may want to change your window blades um just gonna the wiper blade but anyways window wiper blade same thing guys same thing but okay window wiper blades Maybe snaps don't. on just like that so basically the park lights we purchased is the wrong park lights so we're gonna have to get back like with a part two or something just to show it to the park lights it's pretty basic we explained it to some extent we just did the window wiper blades now because that was something that needs to be done we're now making our way to the back of the car on the tailgate we're gonna do the number plate lights we're gonna put leds in there if we bought the right ones and then we're just gonna check the reverse lights just to check what type of globe we need for that and then yeah that's pretty much how it's going so far um struggled a bit here and there but like i said it's part of the experience so yeah stay tuned and yeah hopefully this is not gonna be any much longer we are in the boot nonetheless just gonna unplug this which was unplugged sorry guys we're gonna try and figure out how this thing normally this thing just to us like normal lights normal people know that pulls out this is the globe same style globe as the box push-ins and then that's how you change it so unfortunately we do not have the right globes once again because we bought twist the twist ones but yeah pretty simple unplug this plug it back in uh, stick it in here it should line up the same way that it came out type of thing um so yeah why doesn't it go back in here oh there you go and then twist in and then plug it in that's how you change them stay tuned for more okay so basically on the rear driver's door at the back right so it has this problem right so when when you roll the window down i don't know if you guys can see it stops like it just just stops there so we don't know what the cause is so we're going to strip this door panel out and then hopefully try and fix that if it's something just so simple so stay tuned guys so basically what we discovered was there's like some sort of aftermarket um central locking kit in here so what is happening we've installed this thing right right over there every time you roll the window down it hits against this all the time so that's a problem so you can't get the window down because it hits against this central locking piece so now we're gonna try and maybe unscrew this and pull it slightly forward or remount it slightly in a way but yeah and then that's gonna go nowhere ok 
okay guys so basically what we did was we just took a, a water pump lies over here grabbed it there and there and we just pulled the metal slightly forward towards us so the window goes down and as you can see it goes past and the window opens completely so that was the whole problem this the back here that thing was hitting against this whole mechanism but it's sorted now at least the window goes up and down and now it's sorted now we just need to reassemble everything here we'll probably do a time lapse video and that's pretty much it on today's car okay guys so as you can see we fixed the window it rolls down and unfortunately we have to roll this video to the end um it's the end of the video so basically in the future we can do more modifications to this car nothing major must be stock as a daily and um yeah we just need to get those new lights to the front and back and get that sorted and i think that's stay tuned guys and yeah this car is not going to be named rachel like the previous mark one its new name is da soup so yeah stay tuned for more content and like and subscribe adios <laughs> <laughs>